You know, the, the, so many people ask me about how to love yourself. How do you love yourself, Louise? Because I talk about it all the time. So I made a list of how to love yourself. And it's even in poster and postcard form now. But number one on that list of how to love yourself is to stop all criticism. Just stop it, now and forevermore. And make a vow to yourself that you're going to do your very best from now on to stop criticizing number one you and then other people. It'll be a lot easier to stop criticizing other people when you stop criticizing yourself. Now, number two on that list is stop scaring yourself. And here we go into fear. How often do you terrorize yourself with your own thoughts? <laughs> you get into absolute terror, and it's only coming from your thoughts. Nobody out there is doing a thing. Sometimes it's an old family pattern. Sometimes we get new things. How many people here are absolutely in terror of earthquakes? <clears throat> and how often do you do that to yourself? You know, we find so many ways to scare ourselves. I would like people, to, when you have time, to make a list of your fears. Make a list of your fears. And then give yourself the opportunity to turn each fear into a positive affirmation. Turn each one into something positive. And remember, always you are in charge. You are always in charge. See, one idle thought doesn't make a whole lot of difference. It's like a, but thoughts are like drops of water. You drop a drop of water on the table here, and it doesn't mean much. But if you keep dropping and keep dropping and keep dropping, you get, a, the table becomes a wash and then you get a puddle on the floor and then you can get a little pond and a lake and finally you can create an ocean and with our own thoughts we can drown in a sea of negativity or we can float on the ocean of life and it's up to us the thoughts we think accumulate and what sort of puddles are you standing in or are you up to here or are you up to here and trying to paddle you know, what are you doing to yourself? When we're willing to change our thinking, we can change our experiences. And it doesn't matter if you've got a big puddle of negative thoughts. You know, you can move over here and create a puddle of marvelous positive thoughts. You can make changes, always. So you want to turn those fear thoughts into positive affirmations. Let them work for you.